Hey friends, this is Angelica. Thanks for joining me. Today is all about birthdays. We're going to be putting together a few birthday cards and we're using Concord and Ninth products. So let's take a quick look at these products. Now we're going to start with a um, bunch of balloons stamp set and there is a coordinating die. And then I'm going to do a lot of um, focus on this stencil set. This is bunch of balloons. There's five stencils in this set, uh, two pairs, and then a single stencil. So we're going to go through all of these stencils so you can see uh, what they do. I've already set myself up to start stenciling and I did swatch these colors out just to see in person what they look like. I've seen them online. So when I did swatch them out, I used sponge daubers. So I know how vibrant these colors can be. I wanted to see what they were like also with blending brushes. So I'm going to do a quick rainbow uh, with the blending brushes. I'm using five of the six new colors from Concord and Ninth. I picked wild berry, watermelon, cream sickle, eucalyptus, and rainforest for this first panel. And since the ink did go down super light with these brushes, I decided to put two layers of the ink. So I worked my way down the stencil and now I'm going to work my way back up the stencil with these colors and just see if I can get these um, balloons to pop just a little bit more. They're, they're really soft right now. I wasn't able to um, get them brighter with the brushes and that's totally fine. This just has a completely different look than the other panels because I am going to uh, work with sponge daubers after these brushes so you can see the difference. I don't know if everybody has tried sponge daubers. I highly recommend them. That's what I use the majority of the time. They're really inexpensive, really easy to use, and um, you're going to see how much ink you're going to be able to get on the paper with these little sponges. So the first stencil is done. Now there is another stencil that goes with this. This is a set. You can pass this second um, stencil if you want or I'm going to use it and add more balloons to the panel. I'm using the same colors in the same order and I do have this uh, sped up pretty quickly. I am not the fastest ink blender especially with brushes. Uh, I, I hardly ever use brushes anymore so I do have a lot of the video sped up so it doesn't uh, become repetitive because we're going to be doing a lot of ink blending with these stencils. All right, so this first panel is done. That's what the two stencils look like with the um, ink being blended on with brushes. Now we're going to use sponge daubers and you're going to see how much richer these colors lay down. I'm starting with creamsicle ink and since I am using the sponge daubers, I have a lot more control of where the ink is going to go. So I am able to put this color on random balloons instead of blending like I did with the first panel. I'm loading up my sponge with a lot of ink so I can be really heavy handed on the left side of the balloon and then just lift up my pressure a bit when I get to the right side of the balloon just so I have that different, um, the different color values to put shading on the left side of the balloons. And this is how I always stencil balloons. I'm a huge sucker for balloon stencils. If I see one, I'm going to grab it. Now Concord and Knife was really generous and sent me this package last month with the balloon stencils and the inks and cardstock. And it really, it just surprised me. It made me so happy and it came at the perfect time. Last month was a pretty hard month for me. I broke my foot. I had a really invasive um, oral surgery and my recovery was hard and long. So to be able to go down to my craft room once I was done with my healing process and play with these products, Concord and Knife is one of my favorite companies to shop at. In fact, my first stamp set from a small boutique online store was a Concord and Ninth order. So I've, I've been a fan of this company for many years and it just, I cannot tell you how that made me feel to get this lovely package in the mail. I am finishing up this panel. I did bring in Grasshopper, the green, the olive green Grasshopper um, into this panel and it between the grasshopper and rainforest, those were my two favorite colors in this color collection. I think the inks 
just were so stunning on paper. And talking about paper, I am using Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. Now you can just stencil this right onto a card base too if you want to have um, just a flat card. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do quite yet, so I just stenciled on a lighter weight paper. So if I wanted to put this right onto a card base, it's not going to put a lot of extra weight on the card base. Now we're moving on to our third panel and we're going to be stenciling the balloons in the same way, but this time I've masked the balloons so or the mask the stencils so the balloons only are at the top. I didn't want a full panel of balloons. So I layered the balloons on top of each other first, figure out where I wanted the balloons to be, and then um, added mint tape to block off the rest so I didn't accidentally um, get ink on balloons I didn't want. Some of these balloons are closer to each other than others, so if you're worried about inking um, in the balloon next to what you're inking at the moment, just put a little tape over it or... If you don't have like this mint tape, you can use a post-it note, just something to cover that balloon. And if you do want to do a project like this and you're going to be inking with several colors right next to each other, I do recommend having a mask ready to go because I did um, ruin a couple panels doing this because I didn't mask off a few <laughs> balloons and uh, didn't look that nice. So a mask is a great thing to have uh, nearby and look at that. I just love how these balloons turned out. I love these colors together. This is such a fantastic palette. Now we're going to move on to the third stencil. I'm going to stencil the majority of what's on here. So there is a word like um, yes a word that you can stencil hooray and you have to position the stencil two ways to get the whole word stenciled so I am also adding the ink the same way I did with the balloons heavier on the left side um, and um, easing up on my pressure with the sponges moving towards the left side and I do have an arrangement of colors above this stencil, so I know how I want my ink order to be. So I'm almost done with this first position. I have the HOA down, and um, now all I have to do is reposition the stencil. I just moved it up some and over to the right, and the other three letters are just in the right position so you can finish up this panel. I really wish I can blend that fast. I'm just sitting here watching myself. Um, so this stencil has the words and then there's also a large balloon and another balloon that has, it's just stripes to put on top of a balloon. I'm not going to work with the stripe. I'm just going to blend out this balloon. Now, this is the size of balloons I usually like to stencil. Bigger ones, so I have a lot of room to play with with my inks and how I want to put the ink down. Um, like I said, stenciling balloons, just one of my favorite stencils to work with. So um, I did the first balloon. Now, since there's only one balloon on the stencil, I am being very careful with my um, positioning. I want to make sure that the balloons are all straight and um, everything is masked off so I'm not getting any ink on this really crisp white panel because you're going to see it immediately if you mess up. So the three balloons that I put on this panel I used Wildberry, Grasshopper, and Rainforest. I thought these three colors just looked lovely together. Of course the Grasshopper is my favorite color and Rainforest right behind it and then the wild berry is just a stunning bright pink. I am super happy with how this panel turned out. I love this like really simple three balloon look. Now we're going to go on to the last set of stencils that's in this set. There's two stencils to this set and it is smaller. The other stencils I've been working with are um, six by six. And this stencil set is just slightly larger than an A2 size card panel, which works perfectly with the grip mat um, because I was able to still get the edges of the stencil to sit on the grip mat and not move. 
The stencil also, both stencils also have guide marks so you can arrange um, or you can put the stencils in the same place uh, when you put the second stencil down. And again, I have this sped up really quickly and I'm trying to make sure that I'm not going to be putting inks next to each other, um, especially when it comes to the second stencil. And this set is going to give you a really pretty round arrangement of balloons. Now, at first, I wasn't sure if I wanted to use this panel um, because the balloons were in such a circular arrangement. So I did put this um, panel aside for a little bit and just thought about what I wanted to do with it. And actually, I think this panel um, turned out to be my favorite panel that I used. And you're going to see me like jazz it up a little bit um, in a couple minutes. And one last tip before I finish this panel, this will be the end of stenciling. Um, be careful if, so I laid down a lot of ink on these panels, so I had to be careful when I added the second layer. So um, there wasn't a lot of bleeding um, and there wasn't a lot of contamination. I wasn't picking up ink with my sponge and then putting it back into um, the little ink cube and contaminating my ink cube. I did end up doing that a little bit no, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, so here are all the panels. I did do a second balloon, full balloon panel. Um, I did use smaller blending brushes just to see how that worked, but sponge daubers, that was the winner for me. Now we're gonna put these card panels onto cards. So this first light balloon stenciled background, I'm just gonna add a die cut word to it. I'm using Happy Birthday from Everyday Expressions die set. I die cut white cardstock three times. I did glue two pieces together, two words together for the front, um, and I added them to a vellum shadow. And then for the third Happy Birthday, I'm going to glue that to the back of the vellum. Vellum's really hard to put down on your card base just because it's hard to hide the adhesive. You can see the glue, you can see the foam strips or whatever it is that you like to use. Um, so I glued uh, the Happy Birthday backwards onto the back of the vellum, just lining it up with the front words. And now I'll be able to easily glue this um, sentiment onto the panel and I'm giving the word a little bit of height also. I picked white and vellum for the sentiment because this panel is so soft, the colors are so soft, I wanted to keep the sentiment soft also. So I thought white would be perfect, but I needed the vellum just to break the white up a little bit from the panel. Now I'm going to use the bunch of balloons stamp set from, for the rest of the video. That's how, what I'm going to use on the rest of the panels. I'm starting with balloon strings from the set. I'm stamping them with Altenew Permanent Black ink. I would normally do this with my VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink, but I thought I would try something different. This is an ink that I rarely use, so I wanted to see how it did with small stamps. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan. <laughs> I probably won't use that ink again for um, smaller stamps, it's, especially when I'm using a stamping block. The ink is really wet, so when I was stamping especially the bow, it was really hard to just stamp the image straight down without the, um, the stamp wiggle the slightest amount because the ink is so wet. Um, it also didn't go on the stamp really evenly. So especially with these bows, there are a couple bows that are really ink heavy on one side of the bow. Um, I just had a hard time stamping evenly with this ink. I don't have that problem with the VersaFine Claire. I don't know if it's because it's a pigment ink. Um, I'm not really sure. Maybe it's just something I'm comfortable to work with. And I normally don't stamp with blocks either, but these stamps are so tiny. That bow is so adorable. I couldn't imagine not using it. So once I was done, I decided to add a little bit of black splatter onto the panel, just the slightest amount. So this I'm using um, Distress Ink, the black Distress Ink. I sprayed it or I added a couple drops of water and then um, splattered it with a water watercolor brush. And now I'm going to stamp the sentiment with my VersaFine Claire. 
Um, and like I said, this is just a super crisp black ink. What you see is what you get. I highly recommend it. If this is not in your stash, this is one of my must-haves in my craft room. I'm going to use one last stamp from this stamp set. I thought the black strings and the black bow and the black sentiment and black splatter was um, a little uneven with the transparent balloons. So there is a balloon outline in the bunch of balloons um, stamp set. So I pulled that out. I am using the Nocturne ink this time to add the outline to the balloons and I oh, just love how that panel turned out. So I'm going to get my workplace cleaned up and now I'm going to move on to working with die cuts. I had the colored cardstock pulled out because I was planning on die cutting cardstock to make these balloons, but I had so much fun working with the inks with the stencils. I thought I would just continue on with the inks um, to color these balloons. So I die cut white cardstock. This is Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock, and I am still inking in the same manner. Super um, rich colors, a lot of pressure on the right side, and just lightening up those colors moving on to the um, the right side. Did I say right side? Starting with the left side, moving on to the right side. Um, I, and I am going to do all six colors. I will do a small and a large balloon for all six colors and um, I'm just going to do these first two the grasshopper and creamsicle on screen so once I had all of them done I did decide to bring out the uh, balloon outlines that are in the bunch of balloon stamp set I'm going to stamp them onto white cardstock and then I'm going to die cut them and I'm not going to use these white stamped balloons but I am going to use the negative I really liked how the outline looked when I stamped them over the stenciled balloons. I did it with the smaller balloons and then that circular balloon arrangement, I used the larger outline to stamp those balloons also. And you'll see that at the end of this video. So I wanted to stamp the die cut balloons too because it just gives a really whimsical look, I think. Um, but if I was to stamp these balloons first and then ink blend, uh, because this ink sits on top of the paper. I was really chancing smearing the black ink. So I did the ink blending first and then stamped. And this is the easiest way to stamp die cuts. Just put them back into their negative as long as the negative is not going to move. And this negative isn't because I have that waffle flower grip mat in my Misty. So I was able to stamp all of the balloons and just look at how dramatic they look now with that black outline. So I made a quick arrangement with the little, with the smaller balloons on a panel and I'm raising the balloons up just a little bit and adding a mark to where um, the bottom of the balloon is going to be. I'm skipping the balloon string stamp on these panels. I'm just going to draw my own strings. So I needed to know where the string needed to start. So once I have those um, balloons positioned and I have the marks made, I'm just going to quickly draw some strings. I'm not going to go straight down. I'm just going to add a little bit of curves to the strings and bring them all the way down to the end of the panel. Now I did start adding the balloon, well I glued the first balloon, the larger balloon on the right panel and decided I did want to add some black splatter to these panels also so they kind of coordinated with the stenciled panels. So I splattered the paint first and then attached the balloons with um, glue and some with um, thin foam strips. I thought about adding a little bit more black splatter once the balloons were on the panels. Um, so there was a little bit of splatter on top of the balloons, but I ended up not splattering any more ink. I just moved on to the sentiments. So I'm going to pull out a couple sentiments from Bunch of Balloons stamp set. I stamped the sentiments onto uh, white cardstock with black ink. I attached the sentiments to the cards, but I ended up taking them off um, before the final pictures because I thought the white on white in the beginning looked really nice. But I, after I kept looking at it, it just was a little too white for me. So I went back, 
white heat emboss the sentiments onto black cardstock and then attach them to the card. So in right here, they still have their white sentiments. Um, now we're just going to take a quick look at all the cards. These two cards right here, the stenciled backgrounds, uh, by far my favorite cards that I made. Just love how whimsical they are. And then, of course, the all over balloon backgrounds with the die cut sentiments. One last thing I did before finishing up is just add a line at the bottom of the balloons just to kind of finish up that the balloon strings and attaching them to the die cuts. And here are the cards with the black sentiments. I had a lot of fun playing with these stencils, playing with the die cuts. Uh, this is just a really fun theme. Everybody loves to make birthday cards. They love to get birthday cards. So uh, the these two, definitely my favorites. I just cannot wait to make more. I can't wait to play with different um, color combos. And that really bold font, I just think is so fun how the letters bounce around. Just my absolute favorite. So as usual, I will have all of these products linked down below in the description box. They are affiliate links and I will link to Concord and Ninth and scrapbook.com. They're in these products are in both stores. That is all that I have for today. I want to thank you so much for joining me. I'll be back shortly with another video. So I'll see you then. Take care, friends.